We recently bought our forever home and today is our third and final design meeting before we move to permitting stage. I went to the Studio Hus office. This is our agenda for the meeting. Poppy left one of her toys there from the last meeting. We decided on hardwood floor color. I'm gonna go with the darker style. I reviewed samples for the main doorknob. I wanted something that felt a little heavy and also not too new. The kitchen renderings, we decided between the darker or lighter limestone and we went with the lighter. The powder room is gonna have one solid piece of stone as a statement for the sink. So we looked at samples for that and also reviewed marble samples for our primary bathroom. Left feeling even more excited than ever. Did you see a big dog or a little? Oh, it's our Play-Doh. What is that? Poppy, what is this? <laughs> Poppy. Can you tell me what you saw at the park today? Big dog. A big dog. <laughs> Good morning. Today is our admin day. It's nice because on Tuesdays and Thursdays we shoot content and Mondays and Wednesdays we've been doing either house items, organizing new arrivals, and then a lot of computer work. So it's been nice because what I was finding out before is I would get ready and realize I have so much computer work to do. I'm not, I can't even shoot anything today anyway. So it's been more efficient because now instead of Today I didn't get ready, didn't spend time doing my hair and makeup or doing a getting ready with me at TikTok. Same. <sighs> so it's nice, I'm just in really casual clothes and we're in a business center area that we booked out for a few hours. We're just gonna be as productive as we can get through our to-do list. What do you focus on? You know emails and stuff. What emails do you get? We work on Monday.com, so I don't know what emails you get. I get a ton of emails. Business related items. I told Anthony to post more on TikTok because he has all this free time. He's like, I can't do it. <laughs> all this free time. He's focused on big picture. I'm an incubator of ideas. He said all of our TikTok videos, but now he doesn't. <laughs> what? And also we have a producer in house too, and she is very helpful. She edits all of our YouTube videos too. Hey. And she's probably editing this right now. <laughs> kind of what you guys have envisioned for Brittany. Um, and I know on Brittany's side, she's put together. We love fun to create, but also good in the halo of the project as well. Which I recently started only using exclusively clean. That's of an opportunity. Today we have a full shoot day. I shot a TikTok this morning before we went to Poppy's Gymnastics and now we're just going one after the other. We're also doing a campaign with YouTube Shorts tonight, which is such a cute dance. No one ever hires me to do dances, so I was really happy to get this one because it's a very fun family. Oh! It's fun family memories too. That's how we started. We went back to our early days of TikToks, dancing with Jay. So she's gonna get out, out of school and then we're gonna practice in the gym, the dance, and see if we can nail it. Me and Anthony practiced last night a little bit and I'm like, this song is so catchy. My hips I don't move that way. <laughs> it's really cute. So that's a fun way that we're working as a family together. So it should be a fun and exciting day today where we're also getting in a little workout by doing this dance shooting this look. I wanted to feature my Givenchy bag, so I'm shooting this look that I'm wearing today. This is so cute. This is one of the new ones I got. And look at this necklace. This is what I got from Night of Porte recently. I'll put the link in the description. It's so lightweight. It's like this little linen string, but really cute. Oh, and I also got, how cute are these? I feel like these are so 90s. I'll put the link in here too. I got these on Night of Porte. They're so lightweight. I feel like they're really a cutesy vibe. Cute. What do you like better? Sunglasses or the necklace if you had to pick just one? Mm, sunglasses. You don't like my necklace? You told me just to pick one. I am so shocked right now. I was driving back from, we were shooting pictures and I was shooting some photos inside, doing a little selfie in the car. And I don't know 
why I put it, my phone on the front of the car while we we're gonna go take some outfit shots. We got our new house. But when I got back in the car, Ant we shot the pictures on Anthony's phone. I'm like, do you have my phone? He's like, no, we're, you said you were taking selfies with it. So I look out in the car and this is what I see. <laughs> you guys look at where- <laughs> Okay, we're at a- Oh my god, okay, pull over, so pull over. You had that sticker <laughs> thing, are you serious? It's not stuck to the sticker. What? It's just laying flat. How? Uh, you guys, how is this? I'm losing my mind slowly. Okay, earlier, remember how I misplaced it and I couldn't find it on Poppy's shoe thing? I'm literally going crazy. I'm so lucky. <laughs> we went down a hill and everything coming down from our new house. It was so thankful right now. I would have not been able to find it. It would have been in the street somewhere and someone would have ran it over. Wow. Wow, that could have made the day so much more worse. I literally was like, where is it? Where's my phone? And I look up there, I'm like, no, it's still out there. Day saved. Practice time. Practice time. Dude, we didn't feel work this morning because we figured we're going to work out with Megan. Who's Megan? See, one of the reasons this little Ooh. sticker thing comes in handy to learn the dance. Ooh. Stick and run. Oh, Jake, don't be a weirdo. Who didn't put their mat away? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> that I 
eat a lot of like avocado oil, olive oil. Could that? No, right? Possibly. That's why I said the food journal is so important. Just really getting an idea of everything you're putting in your body. Okay. So then I'm going to go above that now to this abnormal curvature of the cervical spine. So that's the neck. Um, and we've got a, a straightening of your normal curve. And the kind of cutesy name I'm hearing for this is tech neck. Um, mm. Because we know that one of the harshest movements for the neck is looking down. Okay. Okay. Is that the main thing I should do is just like look forward? Or do you think I should like yeah, meet with yeah. someone? Well, I mean, you can see a physical therapist. That would be a good idea or an occupational therapist. Okay, well, I'm so glad that I don't have anything hugely to worry about. Sometimes I'll Google that I have, you know, a headache and I'm like, oh my God, I have, I have a brain tumor. It's, you know, totally. it's going downhill. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, Brittany. Have, you know, have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you in a couple of years at your next follow-up. Okay, amazing. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Take care. Okay, bye. bye. Well, why is it bothering me so much that the term on here is that I have a hunchback? <laughs> I really need to get that fixed. I didn't even think about physical therapy. Also the liver thing, that's really strange because I don't, I do have a sweet tooth, but I wouldn't say I eat a lot of, I do, yeah, I have a sweet tooth. So I just need to look into it and I drink. So maybe that's something, I feel like I don't drink that much, but. I don't know, I need to get that checked out. I'm so relieved to see these results though and know that I'm doing something about it. And there's not gonna be a surprise diagnosis. Like, but if there was something growing or they found a tumor now when I'm not having any pain, this is the best time to get it handled and it'd be a simple surgery versus, you know, hanging on for your life. I really feel like this was so worthwhile and I don't think insurance will ever cover this anytime soon um, because it's such cutting edge technology and American healthcare is so much about reactive versus preventative. Anthony's call is on Sunday. I'm really interested to see his results too. We're doing food prepping today and I stopped by our new house to pick some lemons. Our recipes this week. I guess I should put maybe one more, but it's so pretty out here after it rains. I am obsessed with it. Look at all the water, all the lemons. So we're, oh my gosh, you scared me. Oh, I didn't know you were out here. So we're supposed to pick the lemons. How much lemons do you think we should pick? I think we only need two, but I guess the lemons can get too soaked. If you leave them out in the rain, you have to pick them. So otherwise they'll, I guess, pull down the tree. So we're trying to keep it balanced so there's not too much weight on the tree. They'll fill up with water. Oh, what? Twist. A little twist. Twisting. Oh. It is so stunning in our backyard after it rains. I just love it so much. But look at how green everything is right now. It's extra green. It's so luscious. And look at these little flowers that started sprouting. I just love them so much. I also got these little seeds that I'm gonna plant. I think right there for little poppies and we'll see if they pop up. Look at this one. So stunning. I don't know why rainy days here make me so thankful for our little garden and our family. We need to come out here more often. I know. I feel like I'm wearing the same sweatshirt in every video. It's fine. It's such rainy weeks. We don't really have clothes for this. <laughs>